from Luxman, we're offering the latest in uh, our SACD player technology, turntable technology, and streamers. We're featuring our D07X SACD CD player, which is $99.95 US dollars. Okay. We're featuring our PD191A, uh, newest, latest turntable at $12,495. So that would be, I guess, your new flagship table. Absolutely, the new flagship table. There's a, there's a lot, of, lot of nice and new features incorporated in this table, but also first to point out that we're using our uh, equally uh, recent LMC5 moving coil cartridge, which supplies the signal through the table to the, to the uh, phono preamplifier. Okay. I'll come back to the turntable in a moment. Uh, next in line is our uh, E250 phono preamp, phono stage, which has full capabilities for moving coil cartridges and moving magnet or I induced magnet cartridges with full adjustability. Okay. That is in turn feeding our C900U control amplifier, fully balanced, state of the art, 15995 for the C900, okay. 20, 2395 US dollars for the E250. And from the control preamp, we're we're feeding two Luxman M10X power amplifiers in a quasi-dual mono configuration. Okay. Quasi-dual mono because we're actually only using one channel uh, of each one of these amplifiers into the Magico speakers that I was telling you about earlier. And then as the, as the newest entry for, for Luxman, we have a, a uh, North American first the first time we've ever shown the new NT07 network streamer. Brand new product should be delivered uh, to North America later in 2023. This okay. is the first one. And so far, it's been receiving excellent uh, reviews and uh, comments from the listeners coming into our exhibit. What about the turntable? When is that uh, available? Turntable will be here within a couple of months. Again, this is the first one in North America that we had prepared for the show. Let's talk a little bit about this turntable. So this is this PD191A is the flagship of the Luxman turntable line. We have a uh, less ambitious turntable at, called our 151 Mark II at a lower price, but this is really the replacement for our previous flagship PD171A. This turntable features three speeds unlike its predecessor, which was a two-speed turntable. So fully, fully 33, 45, 78, with full adjustability of pitch in, in all three speeds. There's a brand new tone arm uh, on this turntable. It's a 10-inch it's a arm, replaces what was previously available as a 9-inch arm. And this, this tone arm was made in close cooperation with uh, Japanese tone arm specialist manufacturer SAEC, S-A-E-C. Okay. It's a, it's a uh, vertical knife edge bearing system, state of the art, very low friction, and uses a thread and weight crab type uh, anti-skate. But the, uh, tracking, uh, the tracking distortion with the 10 inch arm is a, is a big improvement over the previous nine inch arm. Okay. And of course, we're using it to good effect here with the LMC5 moving coil cartridge. In addition, this turntable, I'm going to step around here. This turntable features hinge receptacles for a beautiful, optional, four millimeter thick acrylic cover, which once hinged can remain open in the position that you want it to be in as you're, as you're using the turntable. For this exhibit and display, we're not using the dust cover uh, because we have uh, high sound levels and uh, we don't have other family members in the room, uh, you know, right. uh, no, getting near the turntable. Nice cover, yeah. In addition to the 10 inch tone arm that's supplied with the turntable, there, there is an option to affix a second tone arm to the back of this turntable when you're not using a dust cover. So an, a 12 inch tone arm can be accommodated uh, like an SME 3012R 
And this gives you ultimate flexibility in terms of what you want to use with cartridges or whether you want to play mono, mono recordings with mono phono cartridges, et cetera, et cetera. It's just great flexibility and again, a step up over our previous PD-171. You can also, if you wish, change out the, the Luxman arm, this new Luxman LTA-710, and uh, there, there are a number of mounts that are made that can be put into this position to accommodate other tone arms and vintage tone arms. Great, great. It's also very, very inert. The base, very, very dead, highly damped. Uh, the whole structure weighs in excess of 60 pounds. It is one substantial turntable. We got some serious bass uh, coming in from the other room, but... Uh, the, not, the, not, a, not a problem with this turntable. This, this turntable is very solid, very stable. Right. We're, I think we're going to have very good results uh, uh, with sales for this turntable, but also please a lot of real uh, music lovers. It's really a music lover's turntable. Someone that's doing uh, uh, archival work or really wanting to listen to 78s, classic recordings, 45s, 33, it's really a music, music files turntable. Obviously, we're using a, a number of uh, AudioQuest cables di of different types in this setup. Uh, they were chosen by AudioQuest uh, Corporation based on our, re our requirements and lengths. Um, and we're using, uh, for, for the, the, where the sound occur actually happens, we're using the Magic OS 5 uh, Series 2 loudspeakers, okay. which have been working to great result. Awesome. Well, uh, I'm looking forward to hearing it. Maybe we can play a little bit of music. Sure. I could be a rambler from the Southern Dial. Don't pay taxes, cause I never file. 